I work two jobs in the food industry and we have to adhere to a strict set of health guidelines. But being is that it's I'm the type of person that I am, I see illustrations and analogies in lots of things. But first I'll say, have an open dumpster, buy where you're selling food. You gotta wash your hands thoroughly, clean the surfaces of any food preparation to uh, uh, tables or surfaces to prevent contaminants from getting on the food. And another interesting fact is you have to cook things thoroughly and then hold them at a certain high temperature to keep them safe for a certain period of time. Otherwise, you have to throw them out. There's a lot of correlations between spiritual health and physical health, as I have you seen. You know, in the book of James, God says, Wash your hands, you sinners, and clean your and look at James, God says, wash your hands, you sinners, and change your hearts, you double-minded. Meaning, God wants a change of heart. He does not want us to be serving him with contaminated hands and a heart. Imagine trying to serve someone's food with dirty hands. God requires us to repent and wash our hands clean through faith in Jesus Christ and then live obediently a clean life before him, before he wants to truly use us. And when it comes to food, you got to be careful to keep it at that right temperature, like I said, but also the condition of our heart. said to the church in Revelations and Laodicea, I prefer that you be either hot or cold, not lukewarm. Now, the interesting fact about lukewarm food is it spoils very fast. It spoils very, very fast, especially if it's meat products. Ideally, you want to keep food really cold below 41 degrees or above 135 when you're holding it at a certain temperature. But the same is true with our hearts. If we let our hearts get lukewarm, that is when we start to have a problem. That is when we start to fall into sin and when we get a contaminated attitude of heart and actions. Lukewarm hearts lead us to commit more sins. It creates an environment sin needs to grow.